Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us here on CBS News. I'm Lana Zak. And I'm Errol Barnett. Here's a look at the top stories we're tracking for you at this moment. President Biden is in Florida today, where he'll tour communities ravaged by Hurricane Ian, uh, what his visit means for recovery efforts across the state. Ukraine is making significant gains on the battlefield, especially in regions annexed by Russian President Vladimir Putin. So we'll take you to the front lines as Moscow tries to control the narrative. And launch of a lifetime. Yes. We'll show you today's historic liftoff to the International Space Station and tell you what it means for the future of space travel. And then later this hour, your power bill is likely already higher than normal. And unfortunately, it's expected to get worse in the coming months. We're going to tell you what's driving the surge and how you can save money. And new battleground tracker polls show extremely tight races in Arizona ahead of the November midterms. The fight for governor has escalated to new levels and uh, former President Trump's lies about the 2020 election being stolen have become a central message for both candidates. When I'm governor, we're going to take a sledgehammer to these damn electronic voting machines. All of these um, people that Trump has given his full endorsement to because they support his big lie, they could change the rules and they could um, overturn the will of the voters in future elections. We'll show you what's on voters' minds and how several of those key races are shaping up. But first, we begin with President Biden in Florida to survey the aftermath of Hurricane Ian. That's right. The president and first lady arrived in Fort Myers to tour the hurricane